Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Highly, highly requested video. This video is on the 17 HMR and bullet drop. So, I've started a series. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this. But, I started a series to explain as simply as I can a series on bullet drop. So, how much does a bullet drop once you squeeze the trigger off and it goes down range if you're at 50 yards 100 yards 200 yards all the way out to a thousand i've been doing videos to explain bullet drop and how much to click on your scope or hold over in inches but highly highly requested is the 17 hmr so for this video i'm going to be using this norma ammo i'll pop it up on the screen you can see it probably more clear this stuff is 17 grain v max boo lots let me get one out here i don't know how good the camera's going to show this but have that black polymer tip in these 17 grainers 17 hmr it's known to be a varmint round. A lot of time for varmint rounds, you want something that's going to reach out and touch something. But all of my bing bangs, I sight in, at least the bolt actions that is, I sight in dead on at 100 yards. What I'm gonna do for this video, I'm gonna fling some boo lots at 100 yards, verify my 100 yard zero. I'm gonna bring it back into 50 yards, and then I'm going to take it out to 200 yards and we're going to see if since it's sighted in at 100 what will be the difference in the hold at 50 yards and then take it out to 200 yards and see what the holdover difference is this is my marlin 17 v got a bowl barrel these are not so plentiful these days i've got a really affordable pinty scope on here it's got 16 zoomies and that's what we're going to be using for this video, but check it out. Let's see what happens All right, my camera died that's on me here, but we will still be able to see the hits here All right, so here is the 17 HMR. See, I've put in the, the data here. 17 grain on those normas, the feet per second there. The, believe it or not, 0 0.12 is the best data I could find as far as a ballistic coefficient. And from the data down here, I'm pretty sure that's probably a, a fair estimate. But we look at being sighted in, sighted in at 100 here. This drop chart says it should have dropped about nine inches, what is what we pretty much saw in the video. Nine or 10 inches a drop, maybe. And then you stretch it out to 300 yards, it's dropping just over three feet, and it's also going subsonic. Go out to 400, it starts going off a cliff. And here you can see in MOAs or mills what you would need to dial your scope. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's anybody flinging 17 HMR out to five, 600 yards. Uh, that seems like a stretch, 
for a 17 grain boo light. But here you have it. At a thousand yards, that baby is dropping almost 2,000 inches. But here is the drop chart for a 17 grainer. And this is with the Normas, but no matter what brand you're looking at, the data is probably going to be almost exactly the same as this. If you sight it in at 100, it's going to drop 9 or 10 inches at 200, 3 feet at 300, and then it really starts to drop. But there's the 17 HMR drop chart here. Appreciate you guys watching and coming along. Like I said earlier, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. If this type of video floats your boat, we got tons and tons more to do in the Boo Lot Drop series. But comment down below if you are a fan of the 17 HMR. I know I am. I'm a fan of all of them. But appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you on the next one. 17 HMR. Ooh. Oh